Welcome back. Yes, we have these readings weekly. If you do want to get this a week ahead of the crowd on YouTube, we do have our YouTube membership and very separately every Friday we are live for the joint connection. You can join us. We do have super chats. I also do provide my PayPal link if you can't use YouTube for such. Let's jump into the read. Now, this week is really interesting in the mix especially with the crowning energy. I'm going to pull a clarifier already. I was guided to pull a crystal for the karmic third-party energy and things look like they're getting very serious. Yes, we have. Okay, let's have a look. Yeah, not, yeah well, it's about right. Okay, this person is not thinking, okay? <laughs> very common. Now, this can be in a karmic path. Let's just get a clear before we start. Whatever comes through is the channel energy for this week. If you want an individual reading, you can go to the link below or Super Chats. Separately, yes, a karmic does not have to be a romantic partner. We'll see what comes through in this read. This person, I do feel, especially if this is a karmic relationship, there is a breakup here. We have unity. There is a disconnect. Now, if they're currently in the relationship, there is a breakdown of this relationship. Um, I don't think they're seeing reason. I don't think they're seeing sense. This also can be an X. It does make sense because we are going into Mercury retrograde. So those blasts from the past, I think we should call it those blasted blasts from the past, you know, they're, they're coming back. And the crystal that we have is Labrapridite. I can't pronounce it. I've got a lot of throat chakra coming through this week. So I do feel especially with divine masculines um, in particular, they've got a lot to say, but they're trying to hold their tongue. Um, it, I take time to reflect and see life from a higher perspective. It's in reverse. And it, it did really come through in a clarifier, especially by the time we zoom in. Um, this individual is not seeing reason. This individual is either in a breakup, going through a breakup or deterioration. Things aren't going according to plan. Um, looking at the past position, they really aren't, how do I put it? This is a very codependent karmic. <clears throat> This person um, really functions best in relationships. This could be a rebound person. This could be a person that still has not resolved the conflict. Um, it could, there could be a third party um, involved in this circumstance, but they're bored at the same time as they're not listening to reason. Uh, <clears throat> they're wondering how on earth they're going to get this dream off the ground. Even though the writing's on the wall, there's maybe uh, lack of chemistry, there could be lack of communication, they may not even be together. Uh, this person is up in their fields, they're up in their toots, um, they're thinking about relationships, some of them could be physically in this relationship really unhappy and wanting the hell out, um, but I do feel nevertheless trying to be grounded is becoming extremely difficult, but they're having a reality check. I feel they're concocting some ideas in their mind of what they could do to turn the ship around. I don't feel this person this week is looking at it like I need to let this go. I don't. I do feel this is going on deaf airs. Their guides are coming through. We do have Jupiter direct. And I just naturally feel that this person is, you know, looking at ways to transform but again, with the positioning of the cards, it's really looking like this person's quite codependent. They're not listening to their higher advice. They're not looking at things. Um, yeah, that it's their way or the highway. They, they could actually be seeking advice, but I don't necessarily feel this is from positive people. I feel they want clarity. Some of them could be going for readings. Some of them are jumping in where angels fare to tread. They've got the full card when it does come to love. I do feel they could be trying to manifest this back in. They could be using intimacy or family or, you know, tribe to kind of manipulate the circumstance and concoct an environment to, you know, a bit like a witch's cauldron really. They can't go back, but they're trying to recoup this. They're trying to recover it. Um, they, it's... It's not that they do want to go back. They're trying to bring something back from the dead, so to speak, and it's just not happening. They're not looking at reason. They're not looking at a foundation level. They really need to step back and have a look, but they're not looking at this. They're like, I'm in the here and now. This is how I feel. I'm wounded. I want to be with someone. This can also be somebody that directly isn't with um, counterpart and they're just not wanting to be alone. 
I do feel they do have a very bitter side. <clears throat> this person also could be unwell, so it doesn't have to be a negative human being. It could be a person that is very unwell, wanting to go back to the way things used to be, um, you know, living their dreams through another person, maybe quite codependent on the individual um, twin who is caring for them. But separately, there's a very large story coming through. This is a very jealous individual. This person may not have even dated um, counterpart but still has an infatuation. This person's very delusional. Um, this person, again, because I was saying a third party. And I don't feel it's between feminine, masculine and the karmic. I actually think there's a fourth party here. This person literally does feel this is their twin flame. This person, some of them don't even care if it is or isn't a connection. That It's something that they believe that is for them. Um, they're really feeling as though they want the attention back on them. Some of them are actually aware of who the twin flame is and there's jealousy. I feel a lot of resentment coming through. Let's go on to clarify. Let's jump back. Okay, let's see what this unity energy in reverse is. What is this place? Well, obviously, you know, it's either a separation or directly um, they're trying to solve a puzzle. Um, this person may not be living with them. This could be a separation where they're directly um, separating um <clears throat> assets it could be a family related dynamic and getting pulled in between two locations there could be disputes over the silly season and where it's going to be i also feel there is judgment here um something silly was done yeah somebody's done something messed up here um jealousy has got the better of them i do feel they've um displayed this in too many ways and it has actually irked this individual that is around them uh you know this even can apply to those that are in union They want your life. They want this life. They want to have. Um, they want to have a twin flame. They want to have a romantic story. Even though most romantic stories don't usually start off that way. You know, Rome was not built in a day. They have this notion that things have been easy for you. They have been deeply intimidated by you. I feel they could be um, splurging quite a bit due to stress, trying to glam themselves up, trying to look good. Um, oh, God, okay. Some of them are trying to get pregnant. Somebody's trying to intervene here and speak reason to them, but they're not listening. Yeah, they're not, they're not listening. They're getting advice from people, but they're not listening. I also feel the individual they were involved with has really stepped back. Yeah, they've really taken control of their life and they're choosing to move forward. They feel they're being their own worst enemy when they're indulging this individual. They're very careful about how they deal with them. There could be a financial entanglement for some, but I don't feel this person in the midst of them. And if they are, this is an ever so distant connection right now. I do feel counterpart is very focused on moving forward. I feel they're kind of trying to brush up their look. They're going to the gym. Um, they're just doing things to really, you know, take their life in their own personal direction. They're very focused, but the attention's not here. I do feel the karmic third party is wanting to bring tradition back into it, but it's more so from a manipulation point of view. It could be for some they're saying, um, <clears throat> yeah, it's like they're using tradition. Um, more so from the point of view we have with the eagle in reverse here, there's a lady with an eagle to the right. Um, what I'm saying is 
this card is really talking about the fact that they want to go back to the past. We have the um, we we have an image here that is to do with more the tradition. So it can be, look, we have kids, look, we were married, but they're trying to bring some old tradition back in. I'm getting the term manipulation um, <clears throat> because they're at a loss as to know what to do. Um, this individual is like they're hoping they're going to think about it, but as far as they're concerned, it's done. Like there is a time frame. I do feel some, if they were in a marriage, they've actually discussed that this is going to be an end of a cycle, that they may see Christmas, New Year's out, but this is where it's going. But I feel very heavily this is happening sooner. And I really, especially from the crowning energy, we have unity in reverse, we have home in reverse. There's a breakdown here of a social unit. I would say um, this can make the individual quite angry because at the moment they're done on it. They're like nobody is going to take from them and there is an anger. There's a dispute going on um, even though they're not accepting it. Every card is saying some crap is going down. If you want a private reading, you can go to the link directly below. As I mentioned, to a live every Fridays. If you want these updates in your inbox on YouTube, come through and join a YouTube membership. Otherwise, I'll see you next week.